G'day, I'm RJ. This short video is about International Financial Systems, or IFS, uh, an elective uh, within the law program at Bond University. So I found the course really interesting. I really like uh, learning from real world experiences that people have. A lot of the students uh, were from overseas, mainly Norway. You know, some Chinese girls there. Um, some Canadians, Americans, etc. And it was very interesting learning from uh, their stories that they provided to the class on things like money laundering, fraud, uh, bank fraud, terrorism funding, etc. The professor is also from Malaysia as well as Australia and it was very interesting to hear from her as well. And I really uh, do like as I said, case studies, learning from real world experiences rather than just, you know, plain theoretical stuff. Now, I'm interested in politics and I think it's very worthwhile uh, someone who wants to be a politician one day, a legislator, to understand how the international financial system works. Uh, you know, there's a saying that money makes the world go round, or that it greases a wheel, a few different sayings. And, you know, it's, although an analogy, it's kind of accurate, because people have a love of money, what a lot of people do. What else should I talk about? Hmm. Some of the themes that were covered in the course uh, included money laundering, uh, Islamic banking, fraud, uh, the global financial crisis, Asian financial crisis, uh, those kind of things. And a lot of it was about uh, basically international regulators and international regulations of the banking world where you know, you've got all these different little countries they have their own financial systems, their own currencies, etc. How they come together to combat, you know, terrorism funding, money laundering, uh, try and even a playing field where, you know, some of these countries uh, have vastly different laws and uh, with different laws there's uncertainty. Uh, and there's things like the Basel Accords, which are to try and make a level playing field, increase certainty, security, uh, having systems in place where, you know, if money has been uh, money laundered or uh, being used to fund terrorism or something like that, that that money can be clawed back or tracked or something like that, which ultimately you know, helps people that want to live in a peaceable society. There is a long way to go, uh, even though, you know, a lot of people don't like the idea of world government, but if there's cooperation between different countries, then a lot of crimes can be solved or people that perpetrate such crimes can be held accountable. And, uh, you know, over time... I expect that the laws of each individual company or country, I should say, would be you know, further harmonised so that uh, one day doing banking in Australia might be exactly the same as doing it in Malaysia, say, despite the fact that you know there's Islamic banking in Malaysia and not so much in Australia at this stage. Okay, well. That'll do. Thank you. Bye.